Hi, my friends. In this episode, I'm trying to put you on the right track in answering some real SAT biology questions. Let's start by test number one. Here in front of you, you have a list of choices and then the questions after them. First, employees say parasitism, commensalism, mutualism, competition, and predation. Mosses live on the tree trunks and do not harm the tree. In this relationship, one living organism can get the benefit. Why? Because mosses have a shelter or have a suitable environment on the tree trunks, but the tree trunks neither harmed nor benefited from this relationship. So you can uh, express this relationship by one living organism has a benefit while the other is neither harmed or uh, benefited. So it's called commensalism, number B. Question number two, acacia trees provide food and shelter for stinging ants. So the stinging ants now get benefit that help protect the trees from other insects. And in its turn, it can also provide the acacia trees with uh, somehow a benefit or something like that. So it's a mutualism because both the both organism can exchange benefit okay like that so mutualism is the right answer c uh, number three a clown fish regularly avoid predators by living in shelters of sea animals so uh, this clown fish have get the benefit and also the sea animals that eat bits of food dropped by the fish can get the benefit so they exchange benefit or c in this question, I think uh, most of you are familiar with this insect and it's a locust and its body plan is to uh, divide it into three main categories or three main parts. Number one is head that is provided with a pair of antennae and uh, a pair of compound eye. This is the chest part or chest region or thorax and this one is abdomen which is segmented into many segments. Don't forget that this uh, part of the body of uh, insects can carry three pairs of legs. This is the first pair, second pair, third pair from two sides. Okay, so the total number of legs is six and also provided by double wings. Okay, that also emerge from the thoracic area or the chest. Unlike the abdomen that is long and also it contains the digestive tract inside it and most of the uh, systems also located inside this long area and uh, the last segment is provided with sexual organs or the reproductive organs. So here you have A, B, C, D and E. Question number four, this region where legs are attached so don't forget that the legs is or the legs are attached to the uh, thoracic area or number B. This is the thoracic area or chest area. Number five, this region includes the organ of execration. So it's A. And also this region contains reproductive organs is also letter A. Don't forget that we have different types of nitrogen bases. I, I'd like to revise it with you now. A nitrogen bases that are found on DNA, and this is the nitrogen bases that are found in RNA. Uh, don't forget that both DNA and RNA nucleotides share in the presence of adenine, guanine, and cytosine. But thymine only found in DNA nucleotide, unlike the uracil, which is found only in the RNA nucleotides. Don't forget also that the DNA consists of a double strand while the RNA usually formed from one strand like that, for example, okay? Sometimes have a long one like mRNA or have this cross shape presented by tRNA and another one called rRNA that help in building ribosomes, okay? Here this is rna so let's return to our question 
you are provided also with five choices. Uh, all of them are arranged from five prime to three prime. Some of them contain U, so then don't be fooled that this, this segment is related to RNA. And look quickly, this also contain W, so it's also uh, belongs to RNA, unlike B and C and D that don't contain U, so all of them are DNA pieces. Question number seven, a DNA complements to that segment. It's very easy, okay? By base pair uh, rule, base pair rule discovered by Chargaff, uh, you can easily discover that the T will pair with A, five prime first, A, and then T, T, C, and G, and finally three prime. So A, T, T, C, G, A, T, T, C, G, this one will complement to a segment uh, ask it, uh, we are asked about here. So number seven, the right answer is B. Question number eight, a product of single inversion of that piece. Uh, if you remember that the mutation that may happen to that DNA include uh, mutations, let's return it together. Mutations are divided into genetic mutation. I'm sorry or chromosomal mutation. Genetic mutation include uh, deletion and insertion and substitution. Don't forget that both D and I can cause frame shift, unlike the substitution that does not cause a frame shift. Chromosomal mutation also include deletion and duplication and inversion and translocation. Forget about them for now because we are talking about the genetic genetic mutation that may happen to that nucleotide. But chromosomal mutation happens to whole gene or whole, the chrom whole chromosome. Let's return to our question. A product of single inversion. What's meant by inversion? Inversion to uh, something like that. Look, you have here a nucleotide and here another nucleotide. If and uh, here in the middle we have a third nucleotide. Inversion to change or exchange places by 180 degree. Okay, so they are inverted or a left become right or right right become left. So uh, something like a mirror like uh, formation. So the product of single inver inversion here, AATGC. Let's compare ATT. Okay, A. So you can say, look. C and G are inverted, but they they exchange it in the place. But we cannot say that uh, it's uh, inversion because if inversion to happen, uh, it it have to skip one and the rotation happen after after that or skip two and then the inversion happen after them and so on. So. Uh, number B is not the true answer. Why? Because we have T. T, but here A and T, so it's uh, changed, not inverted. So number B is not a right answer. Number uh, C, for example, T, A, A, G, C. Look here, let's start from right. C, G, they are right, C and G. T, A, A, but here T, A, A from the left hand side. So A and T replaced or exchanged places and here they become T and A like that, okay? You can read it as you wish, but uh, don't forget that for inversion to happen, you must skip one or two or three nitrogen bases, and then you can exchange to different nucleotides. Uh, so the right answer is here for question number eight is C. Another question, a transcription. What's mean by transcription? Transcription quickly to make mRNA, from DNA. You know that the DNA is a double-stranded, but the mRNA is a single-stranded, and we have double-strand, three prime, five prime, and five prime, three prime. Don't forget that the original template or the, uh, the template from which the mRNA is being transcribed is always three prime, five prime. So the mRNA which will be transcribed will be in the direction five prime, three prime. So 
uh, all of them will be right because they will change they will start with five three so all of them according to the direction are right but don't forget that the beginning point of our question of our uh, this question today we said that a and e belong only to RNA so now you can reduce your choices into just A or E okay so in question number nine you are searching for an mRNA that is transcribed from DNA and the transcription product of that so this is the original template on DNA and you are asked to find that transcribed piece on uh, of mRNA so A will be transcribed into U, that's right. T will transcribe into A. Uh, another T also transcribed into A. G and C will be C and G. So the right answer is A here for question number nine. Number 10, a result of single pair mutation. So we return it again to the mutation, but here you are not asked about a deletion. You are not asked about uh, insertion, but just a single pair mutation. What's mean by single pair mutation? It's something like substitution here. A single pair mutation, one replaced one. Uh, one base replaced another base. So let's search to uh, together. So we return again to search between B, C, and D. And A and E are excluded from our choices. A result of single pair mutation, T, 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 C, G. T, 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 C, G, but it's replaced by A. It's okay. So the first T is replaced by A. So number B may be true answer, but you have to look for another answer in C and D. Okay. T, 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 C, G become uh, T, A, A. No. Two, so uh, two uh, nucleotides are replaced, but here the question is asking about just one single. So number C is wrong. A, T, A. A, T, A. So also we uh, change it to uh, bases. So also number D is wrong. So the right answer is number B. Let's go to the next question. Here this, uh, this question belongs to chapter six, which is about the classical genetics, classical genetics about Mendel work. Data from breeding experiment in guinea pigs have shown have shown that the black coat color B capital, don't forget that, is a dominant over white coat color B small. From the data, the genotype of the parents can be inferred. First generation of a spring are indicated by F1, while the second generation of a spring are designated by F2. Here also you have the five uh, choices in advance. Jump quickly to the question: which parental genotype are indicated when all F1 of a spring are black and the three quarter of F2 are black. So this ratios, okay, 100% in F1 and 75% of F2, it must remind you with Mendel first law, law of dominance, okay? And the second one refers to law of segregation. Uh, so which parents of them will lead to the formation of 100% uh, of one? Uh, phenotype and 75% uh, of a dominant phenotype. I think that the two, uh, both parents must be dominant, uh, pure, and recessive, which is always pure. So you have to choose B capital and B small here. So the right answer is C because look here quickly. If one parent is capital capital while the other parent is a small small. You will put them in squares and they are parent. This is a crossing sign. Since they are similar, you will pick up only one allele and they are also similar. So you will pick up only one allele one by one. So all of a spring will be B capital B small. It's uh, F1 and they are gamete one. Uh, so here we have 100% of the, uh, all the individual have this design or this model, B capital B small. So they are illustrated by uh, B capital B small. It's dominant, but heterozygous, but in black phenotype. If you have them to cross together, B capital B small crosses another B capital B small, you will have F2 uh, with this ratio, three quarter or three to one or uh, three quarter to one quarter or 75 to 25 uh, they will be 
segregated B capital and B small and also this allele will be segregated B capital alone and B small alone after completing this crossing they will have B capital B capital B capital B small twice and B small B small so the ratio will be 3 1 so number 11 we finished it as C that's right go to number 12 which parental genotype are indicated when three quarter of f1 are black so you will start from that area okay you will start from that area that area will pro will produce this asked question which parental genotype produce three over four of f1 are black don't forget that this ratio three quarter or one over four i mean one quarter will not be produced uh, unless both parents have heterozygous uh, individual like that both parents are heterozygous so they will produce that so you will here choose that one both parents are b capital b small so 12 will be a last one which parental genotype are indicated when half of f1 of spring are black don't forget that this f1 uh, half or 50 percent of the individual will be related to something called a test cross okay uh, if you remember or know i will remind you what uh, by what's meant by a test cross it's a, a simple genetic analysis that will help you or guide you to know if a tested individual is pure or hybrid so i will talk about it later but now i'm trying to find just the answer uh, in test cross you are crossing one parent with unknown that may be t capital t t small for example with another known individual t small t small or if you uh, if you try to use the same symbols here in your case so you will say b capital b capital crosses b small b small this is one case another case b capital b small crosses same phenotype so in this type of crossing we are testing that individual it may have b capital b small or may have capital capital this one is said when this individual is purebred but that one uh, when it's a uh, hybrid okay or heterozygous this one is homozygous this one is heterozygous in this case all the offspring will be 100 percent capital small so all of them will be black but the question says half of the offspring will be black i think that that case will produce 50 percent black b capital b small and b small b small so 50 percent will be white here and another 50 percent will be black after distributing or after making the gametes here so the right answer in that question you will search for this parental genotype capital small 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 which one of them capital small yes that one so the right answer is d go to the next question hemophilia and polio smallpox strep throat and malaria look uh, you know that some diseases are treated by using antibiotics and most of them are caused by bacterial infection so here when you are asked about a disease that can be treated effectively with antibiotics so you are asked about some bacterial diseases hemophilia is a six-linked disease polio or infantile paralysis it's a, a viral disease smallpox also is a viral disease strep throat is the only one bacterial disease but the malaria is a type of insect okay that can cause uh, some uh, protestian uh, infection because it can cause it can carry plasmodium protozoa okay from an infected person to a healthy one transmitting the disease which is called or known by malaria so number 14 will be answered as d okay so cross number d here disease for which the causative agent was thought to have been entirely eliminated except for reserves in two governmental installations so the right answer is c because a small box uh, this uh, sentence can be applied to the small box okay so this one is c diseases causes uh, uh, currently responsible for the greatest number of human deaths or worldwide per year 
don't don't forget that I called this one uh, one minute ago. It's a malaria disease. Okay, a disease that is caused by protistian parasite, which is called Plasmodium. Don't forget it. Plasmodium end by M, and malaria started with M. So this is a link so that you cannot forget them once more. So the right answer is also E. Here, I think that most of you uh, will answer this uh, question correctly because uh, I think it's uh, it's easy. Uh, according to the cell structure, you know that the centrioles are only found in animal cells and fungal cells. Nuclei are the plural of nucleus. And this is a key word that differentiates between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes do not contain nucleus, unlike eukaryotes that contain nucleus. Mitochondria is a, a double membrane organelle or membrane bound organelle that are uh, only found in eukaryotic cells. Plastids, don't forget that the mitochondria are the powerhouses for the cells, so they can uh, change the chemical energy stored in food, I mean glucose, into a thermal energy or some type of a con uh, convenient uh, energy that can be utilized by the uh, cell. Plastids are uh, organelles, also they have the double membrane and their own ribosomes and their own DNA and all only found in plant cells, al algal cells, okay and in some primitive uh, bacteria that can uh, carry out photosynthesis ribosomes are the smallest and the, the, the large number of uh, organelles that exist in all cells and it's found in all type of all cells i mean they are found in prokaryotes and also in eukaryotic cells let's start so here organelles found in plant cells but not in animal cells so i think it's very easy number D. Number 19 organelles found in both eukaryotic cell and uh, eukaryotic and, and prokaryotic cells so the right answer is ribosomes D. Uh, sorry E. Number 20 organelles found in animal cells but do not found in plant cells so they are centrioles or E. Thank you for watching see you in the next video goodbye.